Welcome, I'm Cleona Patterson at eFluentEnglish.com Mini Course 2 Write IELTS Task 2 Essays Students have asked me, is it okay to use phrasal verbs when you're writing these essays? Yes, of course, if you use them correctly. But, as I've said in other videos, it's better to use more academic vocabulary. One word can do the same job as a phrasal verb, and this will get you higher marks. But if you mix it in with phrasal verbs, that's not a problem. You will still get good marks. When you do an IELTS speaking, this is when you use phrasal verbs. Why? Why do I recommend in writing you use one word, a more academic word? And why do I recommend in IELTS speaking that you use lots of phrasal verbs? Well, you want to sound like a native speaker. You want to sound natural. And in everyday conversation, native speakers use phrasal verbs. Focus on building your vocabulary, your phrasal verbs, and use them in the speaking test. How do you build your vocabulary? How do you learn more phrasal verbs? Well, some students like to use textbooks. A lot of teachers say, oh, this is the old way, yeah? Now you should do everything online. No. If you like a textbook, if you like to sit down and do exercises, do it your way. Here is a recommendation. It's a book called English Phrasal Verbs in Use. It's by Cambridge. Cambridge have prepared a series of books on grammar, vocabulary, phrasal ver verbs. This is just one of them. I highly recommend it. This one is for advanced learners. So if you were higher, upper, intermediate, or advanced, this is the book for you. It says, this new level of English phrasal verbs in use is specifically designed for advanced level students looking to improve the knowledge of this often difficult area of the English language. This book includes many phrasal verbs useful to students preparing for the Cambridge CAE, CPE, and IELTS examinations. Check out this book online. It's about $40. Yeah, if this is like how you like to study, sitting down and working through exercises, do it. Every English teacher has their own reasons why they recommend online courses or textbooks, the old way, the new way. Yeah, you do what suits you. Learning from a textbook is one way to improve your English. Check out this book. This is Cleona at eFluentEnglish.com. Check out my e-courses. Yes, I'm an online teacher, <laughs> but I use any resource that works for students. Check out my e-courses. You can sign up to my website to get some special deals on the e-course video packs and also some free lessons and tips on how to improve your English. See you next time. Bye-bye.